everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina, and today we're working on a card using the Country um, Country Life Cricut cartridge, and I'm going to set it all up on my Gypsy. I already have everything cut out, but I just thought I'd go through how I set things up on my Gypsy. So I'm starting with a new project, and actually I'm just going to go over, I'm going to hit my silver button here, and open as template, because I have created and I have a video on how I did this, a um, A2, and I call it the long card, uh, template, so I'm just putting that onto my screen. And I'm going to go over here into my Country Life Cricut, car or Country Life Cricut cartridge. I'm going to select the, um, the little apron, and I want to start out by doing this in the shadow feature because that's going to be my biggest layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that, and I'm going to put that on my mat. Now I already have this set at four inches um, because, I, like I said, I already laid this out. But just to show you how to do this, so how I do it, is I select my image and it usually comes through on one inch and I use my little arrows here to um, make my image bigger or smaller and then I usually round it out to the nearest so I'm just setting this at four inches and that'll be my first image that I'm going to cut out and now when you click anywhere on your mat not with um, having an image selected you can select everything now to be cut at four inches so I'm just going to hit four inches and now everything I put onto my mat will be four inches. So let me go ahead and get started with all my regular uh, cuts that I'm going to do. And I'm going to start out by just selecting the regular apron, and that'll be at four inches. And then I'm going to come over and, um, oops, let's go back and click on the mat. And I'm going to hit the shift key. And this one is my top layer. I'm going to put that on my mat. So I'm going to set that right down here. And then I'm going to select my layers number one function key. I'm going to turn off the shift key and this will cut out my pocket and little ruffles on my my image. And then if I come back over and hit the shift key, that's going to cut out the band and the waist. And I'm going to put that right down here by my pockets and ruffles because I'm going to cut that out to be the same color. So, okay, now let me go ahead and show you how to uh, how I put the card together or how we're going to put the card together. Um, okay. Um, first thing, I wanted to show you this paper pad. This is by October Afternoon. This is Fly a Kite. It's an 8x8 pad. And I just love the papers in here. Beautiful papers. Love this one. Isn't that pretty? It's make believe fun. So lots of great paper. I love this paper pad. So today I'm actually going to go ahead and show you how to how I create my card from start to finish, um, including all of my paper cutting and stuff like that. So let me just uh, first start off with cutting my base of my card, and I'm going to cut that out using my um, some paper tray paper tray ink cardstock, and this is the Hawaiian Breeze, and to create a, what I call a long card, instead of cutting my uh, card stack in half at five and a half inches, I'm going to cut it sideways at four and a quarter inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that, set that aside. Actually, I'm not using that as the base of my card. Let's try that again. I'm going to use this off-white as the base of my card. So I'm cutting that at four and a half or four and a quarter inches. Okay, I'll set my paper cutter aside. I'm going to bring out my, my score pal. And I'm going to go ahead and score this at five and a half inches. And then I'll just fold my card stock here. There we go. That's all we needed to do cut for our base of our card. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut my layers, and this is where the Hawaiian Breeze um, comes in. This is actually going to be cut at four inches by five and a quarter. So that's my first layer. And then my next layer is going to be this pattern paper that's from the October afternoon. And I'm going to cut that at five inches by three and three quarters. Okay, and that'll be my next layer on my my card. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by putting assembling our little apron together here. And I'm making a birthday card for my mother-in-law because her birthday is coming up and she loves to cook. So I'm just going to get out my Zig pen, my Zig 2 by glue pen, and we're going to go ahead and assemble our card. And I'm just going to start with the top layer and add all of my elements here. Okay, and now before I add that down, I'm going to go ahead and add my ruffle edges to my base layer. So that'll go down the bottom here. We'll just line that up and stick that down. And then I have the ruffle that goes around the top of the apron. And let me just make sure I have that going in the right direction before I glue it down. And I don't. I need to flip it over. Okay, so I need to put our adhesive on the back side of this. Okay, so that's the ruffles. And now I'm going to use um, my, let's see if that's handy, here it is, just my little snail adhesive. And then I'll finish it off with my two-way two -way glue. So that'll layer right onto here. The hard part is lining up these little ties. I do find that if I hold things up and put them down that I can line things up better. So there we go. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is, let me just put the top on this. I have um, the shadow cut out, and I'm going to use some um, Colorbox chalk ink just to ink up the edges. Put the top on that, and I will put some adhesive on the back of this. And we'll go ahead and add our layer. All right, so let me just find my black ink. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I pulled out my fine tip uh, archival ink pen, and I'm just going to create some stitching lines right around my apron here. Okay, so I went ahead and added lots of stitching to my card, and now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start assembling our card. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my um, pink polka dot paper to my 
Hawaiian Breeze cardstock. And I have this ruffled um, ribbon that I had purchased at, I think it was at Hobby Lobby, and I thought this would go really nice with the apron. So I'm just going to use some tape and adhere this down. Usually I would just you run my HEG across or something like that, but I'm not going to do that today. So let me just cut off my extra ribbon here. trust that piece of tape there. I need a bigger piece. There we go. Okay, so I just added that little ruffle and that'll go right onto my card and then this is going to go right on the top of here and I'm going to do that by using some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals and I think I'm going to double layer these dimensionals so it's popped up high enough off the ribbon. Yes. And when I made my double layers, I'm going to peel the backing off the first layer and then add another layer, another set of dimensionals right on top of the first layer that I put down. Do the same thing on the top here. That ruffle on the ribbon makes it a little bit bulkier. So, and before I put my image down, I'm going to go ahead and add my adhesive to the back of my card here, or my mat, and I'll center this onto my card. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and add my little apron here, just like that. And then I'm going to use my, um, I go to this uh, stamp set all the time, my Pink Stamper Family and Friends for the happy birthday. Um, I really, I, I, I like the size of it, it's a perfect size, especially for the front of a card. And like I said, this is a birthday card for my mother-in-law. And a while back I cut my happy birthday in half because I wanted to be able to layer it. So I'm going to use that this way this time as soon as I find my stamping block. Okay, and I think I'm going to actually put it up here. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to use some chocolate chip ink. Actually, let me get a smaller, I'm going to use a smaller um, block because the other one's too big and bulky to get around my image there. So let me just lay these back down and I just lay them on my mat so I can get them straight. So happy birthday. Just like that. Ink it up and I'm using my Stampin' Up! Chocolate Chip ink and we're just going to stamp happy birthday right on the top. Just like that. So that's our card for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.